was up bright and early at 5.30 a.m. today because my dog opened the back sliding doors. Apparently, I forgot to lock it, so when he opened it, my security alarm went off. Now, when your alarm goes off at 5.30 in the morning unexpectedly, do you get up? Do you go see? Do you wait for the police to come? All of these things are going through my mind, and I'm thinking I'm not sure if I should get up and go see what the problem is. All of a sudden, my two dogs come running into my room, probably because there's a blaring alarm. I'm not sure if there's an intruder. I hope that they would bark and protect me, but I guess we'll never know. So now I'm getting calls from the alarm company. I'm telling them, I think everything is fine. Stay on the phone while I go check. So I go check. Everything is fine. They call off the police, but now I'm up and it's 5.30 a.m. So I decided to shower, get dressed, and start cleaning the house before I start work. Everything you see me doing here is part of my normal routine, but usually I'm in my pajamas because I only wake up 10 minutes before I have to start work. My morning commute is like four steps. My alarm goes off at 7.50. I get up, make coffee, empty the dishwasher, and wash whatever dishes are in the sink from the night before that didn't make it into the dishwasher. Of course, on this particular day, I had two and a half hours, so I'm doing a little bit extra. I never used to use these little silverware separator things in the dishwasher. I just pulled it out and lumped them all together. But I find that using the little separator keeps them so they don't clump together in the dishwasher and everything gets nice and clean and washed. I mean, not that it wasn't getting washed before because I'm pretty sure it was, but I guess it just kind of clicked one day. If you keep them separated in those little individual holes, they don't touch each other, so they get cleaner. That's what I'm telling myself anyway. This Pampered Chef baking stone is probably about 30 years old. I want to say it might even be more than 30 years old. As you can see, it is very well seasoned and I use it for everything. I bake salmon on it, cookies, chicken, vegetables, you name it, it's had it cooked on there. Normally you would not use soap on a baking stone, but since it's been used for various things over the course of 30 years, that thing is sealed tight and nothing is soaking into that stone anymore.
I usually leave the coffee creamer on the counter until I've had my second cup of coffee. Once I've had my second cup, I put it back in the refrigerator and that's my mental reminder, like no more coffee. Because if I don't put it away and I leave it out, I will drink coffee all day long. I decided to include this clip of me working because this is a typical day where I spend working from home, but I'm doing other things throughout the day. Usually in the morning, I do the cleanup stuff that you saw me already do. I have a conference call, I work for a couple of hours, and then I make some breakfast. So at this point, it's probably around 10, 10.30 in the morning. Almost every single day I have the same thing. I either use strawberries or blueberries, whichever one I have on hand. So I take about four ounces of Greek yogurt, cut up two strawberries, sometimes I'll put some almond slivers in there, or some protein granola. Now that several more hours have passed, I can tell this is my lunch break. And during my lunch break, I usually do all of the other things around the house that I didn't get done in the morning. One of my subscribers made a comment on one of my previous videos where I mentioned that my boy dog Snoop has really bad allergies and he's always chewing his paws and she suggested that maybe he has a grain allergy. So I ordered grain free food and that chewy box was the food being delivered. When she mentioned that, I went to go look online. I saw a list of possible side effects to a grain allergy and my dog has every single one of them. My girl dog, Queen, she doesn't really have any issues with ear infections or scratching, chewing her paws. She doesn't do any of that. But Snoop, the boy dog, he has every single one of them. I've taken him to the vet many times for all of these allergies. And in fact, I have taken him so many times that I don't even have to go to the vet anymore when he has an ear infection. I just call the vet and they give me the prescription and I go pick it up. So when she suggested that he might have an allergy to grain, I immediately bought grain-free food. And I have to say, the very first time I fed them this food, they scarfed it. Neither one of them really eat all of their food whenever I feed them in the morning. They usually just graze throughout the day. On this particular day, the very first time I gave them this food, they absolutely loved it and ate their entire bowl in one sitting. I really and truly hope that this is what the issue was with him because I know that it's not fun for him and I definitely don't like all the slobber that he leaves behind from chewing his paws throughout my house. So thank you Melissa for the suggestion. I really really truly appreciate it and I hope this is the answer I've been looking for. This is me regretting my decision to pile all this laundry in here. Since I'm on my lunch break, I decided it's finally time to go ahead and sort through this and get it put away. 
Do you guys live in a state where there's a Bucky's? My granddaughter and I got matching leggings. Do you remember a couple of weeks ago the suitcase I had delivered because I forgot my luggage at the cruise terminal? This is all of that laundry. So seven days and then some of laundry from the cruise. And my problem is if I don't immediately put the laundry away and I do something like throwing it on the bed in the guest bedroom, I'll continue to do that. So then the laundry just keeps piling up and then I have that I'm regretting life situation that you saw just a few seconds ago. Ideally, I would like to wash it, dry it, put it away, but that doesn't always happen. I can see the clock on the stove here says 246. So that means all the previous cleaning took about 15 minutes and now it's time to eat. I usually just make whatever is handy. I'll often just cook something in the microwave or I'll eat whatever's left over. But on this particular day, I didn't have anything left over. So I'm making a grilled ham and cheese. I've been trying really hard, even if it's just a couple of minutes throughout the day, to just sit and actually have lunch and not do it at my desk and keep working. I also have a really bad habit of sitting on the couch, turning the TV on, but then I also pick up my phone and start scrolling through that. So I'm trying to be mindful and just take a moment for myself, sit and have lunch, listen to an audiobook, and not do 10 things at once. Bad woman, mad woman Keep calling me a mad woman I always enjoy watching these videos back when I'm doing the editing and I see all of the things that I've done throughout the day especially if I record a video on a day that I'm working because I work a normal 40 hour job, but I do it from home. I work eight to five, I get an hour for lunch and occasionally I'll take a break here and there. But during my break, I'm doing something like this. I'm working full time. I feel like sometimes I'm cleaning full time and I always feel like there's something else to do. Like I'm seriously never not cleaning. Now my work day has ended and I have made mac and cheese for the little one that I have over visiting and I dropped butter on my shirt. If you get a grease stain on your shirt or any piece of clothing, you know that that's really hard to get out. This Dawn power wash gets out a grease stain. So if you drop oil, spaghetti sauce, tacos, anything like that that is a really, really hard greasy stain to get out of clothes, I recommend using Dawn power wash. And what I do is I just spray it on the stain and I throw it in the washer. On this particular day, I had some laundry to do, so I washed it right away. But even if I don't wash it right away, spray some Dawn power wash on it, throw it in there, and then when you're ready to actually wash it, the stain still comes out. I hate that shirt. I don't know why I put that shirt on. I grabbed it out of my closet. I thought I hate this shirt, but I still put it on. And as you can see, I've already changed it. I've tried it on multiple times and then I immediately take it off every single time. So I don't know why I keep putting it back in my closet. Now I'm gonna get rid of it and I'm never gonna look at it again. She's so cute. She goes potty by herself. I have a little potty seat that sits on top of the toilet in there so she can 
get up and down and wipe and do all the things by herself but anytime she has to go to the bathroom at my house she announces it and I go with her sometimes she'll make me stay so she'll tell me she has to go potty but then she'll say stay right here and then she'll wait to see if I listen or not and then sometimes she'll come in and she'll say okay let's go I never know which it's gonna be I have a bed making hack for you. If you've ever put your fitted sheet on your bed and then realized it's the wrong way or not the right direction, if you always put the tag at the bottom left, you will put it on correctly every single time. You're welcome. job thank you yes yes thank you come here As I walk through my freshly cleaned house, I am going to pick up the aftermath of this toddler who has now undone everything that I did all day long. I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who subscribes to my channel, who watches my videos, especially the ones who click like, who share it, who leave comments. It really and truly helps my channel out so much and I do appreciate that you've spent a few minutes of your day here with me.